a man who is always known for his short temper. At all the times, he wants to be surrounded by peoples and friends, but his friends will avoid his company due to his short temper. In this tale, let's see the way he followed to control his anger and attracted the peoples and his friends with his art. In the heart of a bustling city, there lived a man who was known for his short temper. And his name is Adi. Anger was his constant companion. And it colored every aspect of his life. His colleagues teased around him at work. And his friends often found excuses to avoid his company. One sweltering summer afternoon. While Adi was stuck in a traffic jam, his patience finally snapped. He pounded his steering. Yelled profanities at other drivers and felt his face flush with rage. As he honked his horn relentlessly, an old monk approached his car. The monk, with a gentle smile, knocked on Adi's window. Suddenly, Adi rolled the window down, his face still twisted with anger. Why are you so angry my son? The monk, asked gently. Adi erupted, pouring out all his frustrations about life, work, and the people around him. The monk, listened patiently, his eyes filled with compassion. Son, the monk, said softly. I was once like you. Consumed by anger. But, I found a way to free myself from its grip. Fascinated, Adi asked, how? The monk, invited Adi to a nearby temple. Where he taught him meditation. And the art of mindfulness. Days turned into weeks, and. Adi, began to change. The once volatile man, learned to control his emotions and found the inner peace. That started attracting the people towards him. Years passed, and Adi, transformed into a calm and wise monk, himself. People, from all around, seek his guidance, on managing the anger. Adi, now known as Monk Seraphius, shared his story, reminding everyone that, transformation was possible, no matter, how deeply the anger was rooted. His journey from anger to enlightenment, became an inspiring tale, teaching others, that even the angriest heart could find peace through self-discovery and mindfulness.